Hey guys, I told you last night we got the house. We're out of here tomorrow. We'll be moving. Uh, knock on wood or metal here. Um, hope, hope to God everything goes right. We got the movers ready and everything else. I said last night I was going to start putting some video, a little bit more videos out, and I mentioned that maybe I'd get some guys to help show us increase, uh, help show you how to increase some strength and uh, a few other little things here or there. We don't like to show all our cards or open our vest pocket a lot around here and there's a lot of reasons for that. Uh, that's why sparring in training sessions for professionals are usually closed and sealed off is to not show everybody what you're up to. But we're going to try to help some other kids out here. And uh, one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to share. I probably in the pinned section of the comments on this channel <clears throat> and possibly in the description box on this channel also um, Danny Christie showing what you do <laughs> when there's a drop left and this drop left is a little different than what I was talking about when uh, Anthony Joshua fought Franklin here a while back. I put a video out. A drop left always equals a right, a right cross or a right overhand. Well, we're, you're going to get to see Danny show you that even when the left is dropped and somebody's coming up to hit you, what you can do, uh, and this will work in the defense, everybody. <laughs> Not only will you clock your opponent, you'll be blocking their left as they come up with it. And you're, you're, you're going to see one of the greatest examples of what to do when you got an idiot in front of you that keeps a drop left and comes from a drop left to strike you. Uh, this is classic from one of the hardest punchers in the world right now uh, and you're going to see him knock a thicker a bigger guy I don't know about the weight or whatever there but uh, I believe he was a little bit shorter than Danny and he, he was a lot more thicker muscle and uh Looked the bad to the bone part, but got easily neutralized by a strong thinking fighter. And folks, it ain't rocket science. You just need to pay attention to what you're doing in the chaos. Keep your mind on what you got going on. If you're paying attention to yourself, your defensive skills are going to be uh, as close to pristine as you can get them. And your striking capabilities uh, will will increase as well. Of course, you're paying attention to what the other guy's doing, but your your brain and your main focus is on what are you doing as the opponent is doing what he's doing. You got to keep the focus on yourself. Keep the focus on how am I going to react to this uh, over. What is he going to do next? And thinking in what they're going to do constantly uh, is not the route that we go. But uh, we do we do think that way. But uh, that's not the full force of the thought going on with us. We think in what are we going to do? How are we going to react to A, B, C, or D? Instead of just dwelling on what the other guy's doing. And solely being in reactionary form to what the guy's doing, uh, we're thinking about this guy does this, we're going to do A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and knock him spark out in the process. So 
Uh, I always tell guys, switch your mentality over from 90% of the thought process and the chaos being, oh my God, what is he going to do next to staying as calm and focused during the fray and having your mind on what you're you going to be doing to him. And, and, uh, and you can do these things. It just takes a lot of sparring and being in a lot of the chaos. Uh, and you can come up with these things. But I'm in the pinned comment section and probably in the description section. Just hit this. It won't take you. It's about a 20 or it's under one minute short. And you're going to see what to do when a guy's got a drop left, whether he's coming at you with it, coming up with it, or if it's just dropped. Uh, lead out with the right. Uh, folks, when these other guys have these hands dropped and these hands start coming down, you need to start capitalizing on these things. If you're sitting there and you got a guy in front of you and his hands are down here, you need to be going up here. You got a guy up here and his hands are up here. You need to be going down here. And there's a lot of a lot of other things. A lot of other things we're going to get into. But anyway, I thought I'd discuss that. A picture is worth a thousand words. A video is worth a million. So go down here, hit the link. It won't take you 20 or 30 seconds to watch. And get a tree to somebody paying the price for dropping a left.